All right, guys, here it is. The elephant is a huge machine. Coming in at one six scale at 240 pounds uh, with the batteries installed, just a little over 240. This thing is a aluminum Goliath. If you did not see the build video series, where have you been, number one? Number two, what an amazing project. Uh, and I do have some things on here that you guys have not seen before. I'd like to welcome to the show a very well-known George Looney. Right, we got uh, George here as part of the team. Also, uh, Brad Slitz, you may not recognize. He's in character right now, right behind his uh, glasses there. And we also have a new driver on board. Uh, at the moment, the 2019 Stone Cold Steve Austin right there. Now, a lot of you may be wondering, why are there policemen actually in uh, my elephant tank? And because this is, to me, you know, being a, a movie prop for RC Sparks, this has the potential to do so much. And really what I wanted to do was kind of bring in a 2025 police state tank uh, that really could be global. It's not really a, uh, uh, a, a certain nationality that could be running the tank. Yes, this is a repurposed uh, Ferdinand elephant, uh, refurbished, and it is really made to be out there to do scare tactics, keeping the public in control. So this is what I have up here. Every police state tank, a militarized police, should have a spotlight. I'd like to show this to you. This is an ongoing build for me, of course, a build of passion. Check it out. Look at that. On demand. You got to be able to have your spotlight move independently. I'm doing this, of course, on my radio. Side control. Now, many of you will be super happy to find out that I've actually ordered a paintball system for this. Um, very difficult to find, and I was going to actually maneuver and try to figure out if there was a paintball system uh, that I could build for it, and it turns out that there are people already ahead of the game on me with this one. Um, so a 50 cal system, just kidding, a .50 cal system <laughs> uh, is going to be shooting paintballs down here. It will be shipping next week, uh, unfortunately. I won't be seeing it for a couple of weeks, but that's going to be coming up on the build at least uh, So we can look forward to this giant behemoth actually shooting something other than a beautiful light show Light show is what I was saying and you guys just got blasted in the face <laughs> uh, There we go. We are going to lose the recoil unit Unfortunately if I put in the paintball system because it's so heavy as well as the slew from left to right But I'm gonna see if I can work with that the elevation system is going to be replaced with a worm drive system uh, Which will actually counteract the weight of the paintball gun setup as well as the electronics that have to go onto the barrel uh, But this is all stuff that I'm, I'm gabbing about. I haven't uh, done it ever before so it'll be something new if you haven't seen subscribe if you haven't seen the build of this giant tank I'm telling you right now it's totally worth it my buddies and I spent a ton of time putting this together uh, and we have a ton of laughs and fun along the way shall we start it up <laughs> Yeah, I just shut it down for a second. I actually want to talk to you guys about the tracks because a lot of you guys say to me, the tracks are too loose or the tracks are too tight. And so in the first video where we actually took this tank off of the table, absolutely correct. The, the tracks were about a quarter inch or up to half an inch loose. Uh, and I know if you want to look underneath here, you'll see that there's actually this mud guard protector right underneath here. If I can get in there nice and close there, there's a good shot of it kind of right there. The tracks under, under pressure actually rub against this and it, it is supposed to do this. So when it's actually rolling, you'll see that sometimes it'll look like the track is too tight and it's like literally right there. Some of you will ask me then, well, it looks too loose underneath, but if you tighten it up anymore, it's constantly rubbing and it won't get past this bend or this one in the mud guard. This was common, I've noticed uh, in the 
uh, Ferdinand tanks, the way the tracks are, uh, plus after checking with the manufacturer's videos, this is definitely the way the tank tracks are, are to be. So I don't really have a lot of hopping issues anymore when I'm turning, and in fact, it's quite smooth. And another thing I wanna mention, over here, you guys noticed um, that if you, it's really hard to see for my camera to focus, I'm doing it manually right now. You see those tank tracks that are in the ground? I would like to say that that is cut concrete, but it is not. It is actually just those fresh aluminum tracks. These are cast aluminum tracks. They were very sharp and they, they actually wore off a little bit. You can see right there uh, on the concrete. So it's just aluminum and it's wearing off. I did not ruin my shop floor. Let's get rolling. Elephant. I'm having engine problems already. <laughs> I really find uh, watching the road wheels as they move on the suspension quite entrancing. <laughs> 